We're glad that you decided to take on the first hack pack challenge. And this one will be creating a square function. What do I mean by that? It's creating a function that has your turret move in a square. It's pretty simple in concept, but if you're new to code, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult than just that. Now, for those of you that say that's a piece of cake, you know code and you can have that done in five minutes, come up with a different shape. Maybe a circle or a infinite sign, the infinite loop, and see how difficult that is. The best part is the core concepts that you need are already in the code of the IR turret. They're just in the little chunks and pieces that you may not understand yet. But if you watch this video, I go through all of the code in pretty good detail so that way you understand how to modify the different chunks of code for each servo and tie them back to a specific button so that way it calls the function to do the action you created. Here are the challenge parameters. First and foremost, don't use AI. The whole idea of this and the hack pack is for you to learn how to do this kind of stuff. While AI is great to learn, when you just use it to cheat and write the code, it's not helping you learn. So take the time to actually learn the code, understand it, and apply it to this challenge. So that's the first step, no AI, the second parameter is putting all of this code in one function and then tying that function to a press of a button. So you have to press the button, it calls the function and runs the entirety of the code to complete this challenge action. But the big idea is to make a square with your IR turret by controlling the yaw servo and the pitch servo. Now keep in mind, they operate differently. And again, reference back to the video to understand how the yaw works with speed and timing while the pitch works with giving it an angle to move to. The third parameter is tied to more of a finessing fine tune aspect. What you'll notice is that the pitch servo moves very quickly and very effectively down. So we want to slow down the pitch servo motor, meaning you have to add an extra layer of code to make it move slower than just giving it the angle to move to. A little hint, if you take a deep dive into the IR turret code, that section of code to slow it down is already in there if you know where to look. If you are able to complete the challenge, go ahead and post your code in the Hack Pack Discord. I will be creating a specific post for this Hack Pack Challenge number one, so that way everyone who has completed it can put their code on there. And as a secondary benefit, you'll be able to see how other people did this exact task, but with different code. And that's the fascinating thing about code. There's not always one right answer or perfect answer. There are better ways or cleaner ways or more upgraded ways to write code. And so as a beginner, you can look at somebody who has a, a cleaner style or a more advanced way of doing it that now you can learn from. You could take that for the next section of code that you're going to write and apply that. The primary aspect is just to continue learning. Continue hack your hack pack. Don't just build it, set it on the side and look, oh, that was fun. Continue to dive into the hack packs. You'll learn so much from it when you begin hacking. If you like this idea and want to join, make sure that you leave a comment below and just let me know if this is something that is a great idea for us to continue developing as Hack Pack Hacker. Very simple code movement. Move left, move down, move right, and then move back up. Not sure if that looks the right way. Move. Well, yes, that, that, I think that was done right.